Today's video is sponsored by Acorn TV. More on their excellent programming later in the video. Autumn slumber awakens dreams of misty meadows and winding streams. Mundane is bland, the season stirs. Cozy abundance, harvest prefers. Prepare the home, pumpkin custard, spode woodland beauty, steak with mustard. Cozy mysteries, folding clothes, guessing who done it, I think I know. Maple candle, cardamom dream, fall is in the air, topped with whipped cream. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Fall is in the air, and even though it is still warm outside, I can sense the air shifting. There is a crispness in it. I like to mark the change in season in various ways, in the way I dress, in the way I cook, in the way I decorate, and, of course, in the china cabinet. Spode is one of my favorite brands of China. Their woodland line was first created in the 1980s and features a wide variety of woodland creatures. I was doing some research on the world's most collectible China, and Spode Woodland comes in at number four, right behind Spode Blue Italian. Interesting. I'm so excited that Acorn TV has brought us today's video. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm folding laundry and watching the Agatha Christie Hour. So, you know, I'm always saying, if you're going to watch TV, watch quality TV. Acorn TV is the kindred spirit TV for the Daily Connoisseur. It has all those amazing British programs that I adore, including an entire section on cozy mysteries alone. The two shows I'm most excited to watch are Vintage, The Agatha Christie Hour, which are these lesser known adaptations of her short stories, and The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Geraldine McEwen is one of my favorite actresses and she played Lucia in the best adaptation of Map and Lucia. So I'm so excited to watch this series. You can watch Acorn TV on any of your devices and it's only $5.99 a month. Choose from thousands of hours of exclusives, deep cuts, and originals that you won't find anywhere else. And if you're like me, watching Acorn TV while you do your chores will actually make you want to do your chores. <laughs> Try Acorn TV free for 30 days by visiting acorn.tv and use the promo code DAILYCONNOISSEUR. And now we will time travel back to earlier in the day. I wanted to show you my Carl Larson windowsill which is coming along beautifully. I modeled this after Larson's famous painting, Flowers on the Windowsill, from 1894. I have a geranium, various cacti, some chives, and even a Venus flytrap. This cozy ledge brings me so much joy. I love burning fall candles too. This one is cardamom milk by Otherland. It's a subtle fall scent that is reminiscent of chai tea. I have a few of their other candles as well, and I've been burning them selectively around the house. Time to change the tablecloth and sweep the floor. What I like most about the blue cabinets in our kitchen is that they transition with all of the seasons beautifully. Fall and winter colors look equally good with spring and summer ones. This tablecloth has taupe and woodland colors.
I bought some purple mums at the garden center for our outdoor table. But first, I need to wipe that table down. I love spending time out here and will take any excuse to come and sit on the patio. We've been regularly stocking our bird feeders. Word has gotten around in the neighborhood and the most marvelous little and sometimes big birds come to call. I like to make hummingbird nectar from sugar and water too and oh how they love it. Now that the fall table is wiped, it's time to place down the mums. Are mums the official flowers of fall? If not, they should be. It's a new day and I'm going to make a pumpkin custard. In a mixing bowl, combine pumpkin, eggs, half and half, brown sugar, pumpkin pie spice, and salt. I'll leave the recipe for you down below. Beat this mixture until smooth and pour into individual custard cups for baking or a larger baking dish to make one full custard. Place this in a baking pan and pour hot water around the cups one inch up. Bake at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, make the topping out of brown sugar, pecans, and butter. Sprinkle this on top of the custard and continue to bake for another 35 minutes. You can serve this custard warm or chilled. Either way, you'll want to top it with whipped cream before serving. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's make dinner. Time to cook up some dinner to go with our special dessert. I have two large ribeye steaks I'm going to sear on the La Crusette grill and then finish off in the oven. If you watched my What's for Dinner video last week, you saw the parsley caper compound butter I made. I keep that in the freezer and pull it out for recipes just like this. It's so delicious on steak. So I'm going to use that here on these steaks and also on our baked potatoes or jacket potatoes, as Ben calls them. I serve this with some steamed green beans and I top the potatoes with chives. This is a hearty fall supper. And now time for that delectable pumpkin custard. I am spooning out the custard into individual dessert bowls and topping them with whipped cream. I also sprinkle a bit of cinnamon and a few more chopped pecans on top. This is completely delicious. It would make a great dinner party dessert as you can make it ahead of time and keep it in the fridge before serving. I hope you enjoyed today's fall homemaking video and that it got you in the mood for the cozy fall days ahead. Thank you again to Acorn TV for bringing us today's video. Remember to get 30 days for free by going to acorn.tv and using my code dailyconnoisseur. Keep calm and remain classy everyone and I will see you next time. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.